Good morning. It's Sunday in Sandra's Kitchen. I'm Sandra from Sandra's Empower Wellness. And we are going to, or I am going to talk to you today about that amazing superfood. It's Superfood Sunday. I'm really excited to talk to you about this because I think it's another underrated um, food that a lot, and a lot of people don't know about it. I didn't know about it up until a couple of years ago. And um, it's kind of it's not changed my life because I've always eaten really healthy and I always read up and research on everything to see what's actually going inside. It's very important to me. So I thought I would share it with you. I've shared with you now uh, quinoa and chia seeds, which are superfoods in, in my opinion as well. And this one is also like quinoa. It is a complete protein. It has the nine amino acids that we need that we can only get from food, which is amazing. Uh, vegans love it because um, a lot of vegans or those of us who don't eat a lot of meat or dairy don't get enough B vitamins, so they love this. They can add it to, you can add it to popcorn, you can add it to sauces, you can thicken um, sauces with it. It adds a really nice, nutty, cheesy, savory flavor. Do you know what it is? I'm sure a lot of you do that are really into health. If you're not and you don't know, don't feel bad because it's, it's still, it was new on my radar for a while, but this is what it looks like. Strange, right? It's kind of flaky. It can come uh, in flakes, powder, or granules. And the name says it all. It's called nutritional yeast. Yuck! Yeast? Are you kidding me? That's what I thought. Like, why would I be eating yeast? Isn't that what they use to put in bread to make it rise? You know, that kind of stuff. Yes, actually, that is the case. There is baker's yeast, brewer's yeast, and nutritional yeast. The other two, they are, it is a live yeast, and it uh, is killed off in the cooking process. This is actually made specifically for food, so they add um the nutrients to it or some of it actually there's i'm getting ahead of myself there's two different types of nutritional yeast there's fortified and unfortified unfortified has a lot of uh, vitamins and trace minerals but one tablespoon that's a tablespoon one tablespoon of nutritional yeast unfortified will only give you 5% of what your required daily intake RDI would be. Nutritional yeast will give you 30 to 180%. That's a huge difference. So they add a lot of trace minerals and vitamins to it to make it really packed nutritionally for those of us who might be B deficient. The only way to really know if you're B deficient is to get a blood test, and that's very easy to do. There are a lot of symptoms of B12, B12 specifically deficiency that I looked up, such as lightheadedness. I wrote them down because I wanted to get this right. I am not a doctor. I'm not claiming to be a doctor. I read up on health all the time, and anybody can get this information. So I'm just saying, go to your doctor. I'm just giving you some nutritional information, just to clarify. Um, you can get paled or jaundiced skin, weakness and fatigue, sensation of pins and needles, because it does affect your nervous system if you're low in B12, um, glossitis or mouth ulcers, which is where your tongue, you know, the little taste buds on your tongue that are like little bumpies on your tongue. If those are all smooth, that is um, a sign of uh, B12 deficiency. If you have only one of these symptoms, it doesn't mean you're B12 deficient. But if you have several of them, obviously you want to go to your doctor, just double check that. But this is a very easy way to get your B12. If you don't like taking pills, you don't like taking vitamins, then this is a great way to do it. And you can add uh, one tablespoon a day will give you a huge boost. You can take up to two. The only thing is you need to be careful if you are not used to a lot of fiber, because this is really high in fiber as chia seeds and uh, quinoa is. So obviously you need to drink a lot of water, but you're getting um, a lot of fiber, which is good for us. And it's indigestible, so you know it cleans out the system, which is really good. But if you do have um, issues with your stomach or uh, um, like IBS and all that stuff, then obviously you may want to add it in slowly, 
or again, talk to your doctor and see if it's something that, that you can consume. Um, I'm not gonna get into all of the uh, deficiencies of B12, but I think you know most of us know that you need to just keep your B12 up because it can cause a lot of different side effects. Back to nutritional yeast. I just want to get that out there. Nutritional yeast, this is the flake version. There's um, granules, powder, and flakes. Those are the three different ways, and it's uh, fortified and unfortified. Stick with the fortified if you want the vitamins. If not, if you just want it for flavor, a lot of vegans who don't want it, they just want it for flavor, then they'll, they'll just buy the regular one. But I just think that this is, fortified is the best way to go if you're gonna do it at all. You can find it in the spice section. You can find it at um, in the States or Whole Foods, that type of thing. Um, I have happened to have bought the, the Bragg's one because that is, Full. You can see on the side all the stuff that, that is in it. And this one has, again, you're getting your iron, riboflavin, pyridoxine, vitamin B12, 40% geez, per serving. So one tablespoon is what they're calling a serving. I know some people that take up to two a day. I think I'm around one tablespoon per day. Selenium, folic acid, niacin, et cetera, et cetera. So then there's the three. There's the bakers, brewers, and nutritional yeast, flakes, granules, and powder. Just want to make sure. Notes. Um, this can help lower your cholesterol. This helps boost your immune system. Be beautiful benefits of this. It's fat-free. It's sugar-free. It's gluten-free. And it's uh, completely vegan. And many times it's also GMO-free. How can you utilize this? Add it on top of popcorn, add it on top of pasta, add it on top of salads, sauces, and you can even add it to your pet food and you can thicken sauces with it as well. So hopefully you saw or, or feel, now that you maybe know a little bit more about nutritional yeast, um, what a great added boost it can be to your food and Add it in slowly, add it in all the way, whatever you want to do. I'm just here to give you information. And um, I'm hoping that's what I did. If you did find this informative, please share this video and like, comment, um, just uh, support me in that way. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. I'm on my way to the coffee shop with my puppy. Where's my boo-boo? Anyway, talk to you soon. Talk to you next week. Bye.